time to make one of these again. So this is my NASCAR video game collection. Uh, I remember making one two years ago without any, um, without me talking. So I hope I got all the NASCAR games I own. Probably missed some. So I have two digital NASCAR games: NASCAR USA and Days of Thunder on the uh, PS3. And I don't have NASCAR 14 and 15 anymore because I sold them. And it, yeah, they, it's ridiculous. Like I don't like it. It's crap. Those two games don't belong in the NASCAR collection. So yeah. I used to have 15. Sold it a couple months, but whatever. So I'll uh, just pick out a random one. It's uh, NASCAR Road Racing. Yeah. Found this on the eBay. And of course it doesn't work. Because it was a long time ago. Because, uh, you know, it's too old. This it doesn't work on those fancy new computers we got today. Put that aside. Got this jewel case I put in in a dollar store edition. I didn't like the plastic sleeve, then the paper sleeve, not plastic sleeve. And here we got NASCAR Legends and kind of cracked over here, which is the no good. And uh, yeah, of course, another game that of course will not work on the fancy modern computers. Uh, did I say mother? Modern. On those modern computers. Yeah. But I really want to play this one. You know, another papyrus game. Here's NASCAR Rumble. I only have it in the, um, uh, yeah, when I bought it, there was no uh, jewel case. So he just sent me this instead. I still got the regular, of course, yeah, of course PS1. Yeah, JJ Games, but got this a long time ago. Okay, NASCAR 2000. This is a game I got at uh, EB Games. To you Americans, it's called GameStop, but EB Games was called GameStop for a little while and then they went back to its old name and of course this one never got to play it because it's old and yeah and here is my first papyrus nascar game this is the one i got back in 2008 nascar racing 4 oh you can see my reflection yeah that light or whatever Let's see me holding the camera I find it kind of awkward but anyways i got this at uh, EB Games, very long time ago, or GameStop, you know, same shit. And uh, yeah, first Papyrus game, pretty good, ten dollar, still remember. And uh, here's NASCAR Heat for PS One. Um, you know, obviously, it's uh, not like the PS Two version. So, PS Two, I mean, no, this PS One version got on the eBay as well, or no, or on Amazon. I think I got this on Amazon for about a penny. I just had to pay shipping. Well, I think one of these NASCAR games I paid for a penny. I think. And, oh, here's NASCAR Racing 2. I, I the 50th anniversary. This is a cheap one I also got. Or is it? Oh, never mind. Hold on. Uh, yeah. NASCAR Racing 2. 50th anniversary. Got the nice golden car. Special edition, yeah! Fancy stuff, you know? So, yeah. I think one of these came with the manual. I think, uh, this one came with the manual. NASCAR Racing 1999 edition. Yeah, you got Cup, you got Grand Na uh, yeah, well, you got Push, even though it says Grand National. Grand National Division. Oh, God, I should be too close. I don't have a lot of lighting besides the light in my room, but no, you don't need you really need to see that. Just see, take a look at the game. Oh, Grand Prix Legends. Oh, I got two of those. Because uh, one of them was pretty damaged, and the guy was nice enough to send me a second copy, which I shall show off right now. So, this is the newer edition, not the old edition. So, yeah, this is the damaged one. I thought, well actually, he didn't send me it, he didn't send me an extra copy because it was damaged, actually. It was because it was, it took, like, you know, I felt like it was taking too long, you know, and I thought, you know, it got lost in the mail, so, yeah. 
So I asked, so I messaged him, messaged him, and then he sent me a second copy. So I got, I asked him, hey, I want to send the second one back. Like, no, 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 just, just keep the second one. Like, oh, okay, very good, very good. Now I got two. Okay, hold on. Things getting dim. Okay, we're back. So just using the camcorder. It's, it's okay. It's just a standard camera. Never, nothing. Never mind that. Here's NASCAR '98. I think I got this at uh, one of those retro game shops. For the PS1, very good, very good game, very good. Yeah, look at that. Old school stuff. Game was pretty fun. Um, I, I was doing a career mode, um, but then I stopped after three races, and I won. I don't think I won a race. I think I did. Never mind. But here's NASCAR Revolution. Yeah, NASCAR Revolution. Uh, of course, I never played this because computers too old. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's a lot of uh, gameplay footage of that, but I think, I think you can still find some, but not a lot. But uh, Alright, here's NASCAR Thunder 2002 for the PS1. Yeah, new track, Daytona. Beach, of course. Yeah, fancy stuff. This game, well, for the PS1, you know, it's okay. You know, it has ridiculous flip physics. You know, you just hit the wall like at a million miles an hour, your car goes off screen. I made a video of that once a very long time ago. Okay, this thing's backwards. Uh, NASCAR Racing, I think this is NASCAR Racing 1 PC. Uh, All American Sports Series. Uh, just, I don't know, well, it doesn't, well, yeah. I think it's the same thing. Got Sierra logo on it. I don't see the Papyrus logo on it, but I, I, is this like the non-American version? Because of course the other one, you know, if, when you look up NASCAR Racing One, you know the cover is way different than right now. So yeah, and look at what we have here: NASCAR Inside Line, inside your ass. Joking. Sounds weird. I got pretty excited about this game, and when I got it, I wasn't too disappointed, but, you know, still, kind of dis a little bit disappointed, because first, there's no stats, there's no blowovers, damage model still sucks, even though it gets, you can get crumpled, you can DNF, well, you can DNF in 2011, but it's kind of hard, I think, yeah, well, yeah, I only DNF once in 2011, here's NASCAR 09 for the PS2, I remember getting this one, long time ago. And remember how, when you know how much this shit cost? Back in the day, freaking, what, it's like six years ago, this one cost me $60. No, not $60. I'm, ugh, never mind. I meant $30. $30 for this. I cannot believe it. I don't know why I said 60 I'm guessing, I'm thinking about the PS2, uh, PS3, but I didn't buy the PS3 version until later. Because I never had a PS3 version, uh, PS3 at that time. So, oh yes, yes, the good one, the really good one, NASCAR to Daytona. This is the real shit right here. This is the best NASCAR game for the console, hands down. And still to this day, no one has ever beat it. Well, for the console, of course. Hold on, man. Okay, I have to stop for a second, because... Someone's playing with the dog. So yeah, this is the really, really good one. Really good one. There's no um, Bush series. Well, for two reasons. I think there's two reasons to it. Maybe because first it's beer, but then you got Winston. You know, you can easily just um, yeah. The uh, Winston logo. So probably not because of the beer sponsor. Most likely because they look similar. Uh, the Bush cars look similar to the cup, but the Bush cars are actually a little bit longer than the cup cars. Yeah, no, I'm serious. I'll show you guys that later. Show it to you guys. Here's NASCAR 07. This is a very good one, but I can't really play it no more because first, I don't feel like playing it. Second, it has that little freeze, that, that freeze when you try to go into the race. Which sucks. I had a really good time playing this one. Really good one. So here's NASCAR 06. 
Another game with the freeze problem. Uh, played a couple months ago, started a new career. And yeah, I just hired a couple drivers. I get all the money. And yeah, that's it. Let's go right here. Here's NASCAR Thunder 2003. $10. Very good, very good. Here at the back. Dale Jr. pointing at the sky. Look at that damage model. Yeah. So, yeah. Here's NASCAR 2005 Chase with a Cup. My first NASCAR game. Really good. This one, good one. I went. I remember, I remember the first time playing it. Man, was I an idiot. I didn't know how to do anything. I remember playing. I remember driving Ricky Craven's car. And I kept. You know, I was sideways and stuff. Like. I just uh, kept spinning out, doing donuts in the middle of the race at Texas. Yeah, it was pretty funny. And I thought I was leading. I was only five years old when I didn't, when I got this game. So, what do you expect? All right. Oh yeah. NASCAR eight for PS2. Uh, yeah. One of those games that EA just pretty much got lazy. But at least it's not broken like the PS3 version. Obviously the PS3 has better graphics and all that stuff, but it was broken. Very broken. Extremely broken. That's Curl 8. Uh, PS2. I do have a for the PS3 as well. So yeah. And Nintendo. This is the only Nintendo game I have. A na no, I mean, the only NASCAR Nintendo game I have. Never mind. I think I'm missing a few games. Uh, I think NASCAR Unleashed is one of them. Probably somewhere in the pile, maybe. I don't know. But I'll try to find it. So. Probably not. Check later, check later. NASCAR 99. For Nintendo 64. The only Nintendo NASCAR Nintendo game I have. There's more I know. But, uh, yeah. Here's NASCAR. Just plain old NASCAR. Obviously, this is NASCAR 07. 40 PSP. You know, I got this on the uh, Amazon. I remember seeing someone selling this for ten thousand dollars. I'm not kidding. I made a video of that too, very long time ago. And no, oh we got this thing. Well, so yeah, no manual sadly. But uh, thing. Okay, it's kind of loose. Uh, hinges were loose. The clap. Never mind. Here's NASCAR 2001. This I got in America a very long time ago. Got this for six dollars, United States, U.S. U.S. dollar. And here's NASCAR Heat 2002. I'm supposed to make a counter review of this game because Aureus said this game is the no good because you don't have the full. Oh, there's NASCAR leash because you don't have the full uh, field, anything like that. So I'm planning to make a counter review. You know, I don't know why they use different text on the site though, but uh, yeah, it's still a good game, even though it doesn't have a full field. Still, I'm still looking for the PC version of that. It probably won't work, but you know, might as well. Here's NASCAR Leash, just a NASCAR Rumble update, I guess. Still fun, you know. Probably the only Utenix game, good Utenix game. Try to open this thing. I think there's something loose. Yeah, this is loose. Uh, I haven't played this for quite a long time. Uh, last time I played it was when I was helping a friend. Well, that's just Aureus. Yep, because he's the only one who wants to play NASCAR and COD. Because everyone else, yeah, plays something else or one online. But yeah, help them get the good trophy, the really good one. No, I don't know why I'm keep saying that, but never mind. Oh shit, pile fell down. Okay, put the NASCAR 99 in its own pile. Or just put it right there, okay. NASCAR 2011. The first game you technic shout out. But it was okay. I'll give it that. It was okay. I know a lot of you guys, oh, you're being too nice. I mean, like, it's their first time. You know, you can't really expect too, too much. But, you know, you got blowovers, you got stats, you know, and all that stuff. And it was okay, very okay. You know, it was broken. It was broken at the beginning, 
ports like most games but they'll but they'll get a fix later on which is you know very good so yeah okay game I wouldn't say it's bad but it's not good either Mass Crow 9 for the PS3 the last EA game besides NASCAR kart racing well the like real NASCAR game none, none of that arcade stuff and oh, that's a piece of paper NASCAR 09, number one. Remember this little logo right here? I wonder how many people call bullshit on that. Ever since when, when 08 came out. Can you believe NASCAR 08 is about seven years old now? Wow. It's been that long since EA decided to stop making NASCAR games. Alright, here it is. I will save that for later. <laughs> There's NASCAR 2002 for PS2. I've been looking. I've, I've been looking for this game for so long, and finally, I got it last year. Once again, very good game. It's a very, very good game. You know, full throttle three wide. Yeah. You know, I bought this. I bought a. Uh, I bought this game. Well, no. Um, I bought NASCAR 2002 at EB Games. For about ten bucks, I, I put it in. Intro will start, but it doesn't work. So, the next day, I go return it, and then the guy. Okay, you know what the guy did? Okay, I, I, I went up. Okay, I went up to him. All right, uh, I was called, so yeah, I just stopped it there. But I got the NASCAR 2002 game. I got bought at EB Games. No, it wasn't 10 bucks, it was 5 bucks, so... Yeah, this is a good one, so time to show you, um... This game. Game. So this is what I bought... At an EB Games a very long time ago. Probably 2-3 years ago, or 2 years, I don't know. Not, too, not, not that long. So, $5. This thing costs 5 bucks. See? Pox NASCAR 02 PS2 save 10% incredible isn't it yeah <sighs> and here it is this is the inside no manual and here's the disc now it looks okay until I show you the back now actually oh wait hey you can see my reflection Actually, oh wait, no, you can't really see it on camera, but this thing is extremely scratched up. So much scratches. Look at, okay, you can actually see one right there. Look at that. What the hell? Oh my lord, look at this shit. Oh my god, he scratched it all over the place. Oh, I don't think you can see that one. That one's camouflaged. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I wasted it five bucks plus tax, and I never got my money back. Oh yeah, I tell you, I forgot to tell you a story. I go up to the guy. I ask him like, oh, I want to do the refund. Like, okay, what's wrong with it? Oh, I say it's uh, not do the work. I have a lot of scratches, and I and then like, oh, okay, I I take a look. He looks at it. And he. Puts it back, he, he snaps it, and then he and then he puts it on the table, and then he looks away, and like, uh, you want to? Are you gonna give the money back? Like, no, I, you cannot do the return. Like, okay, fuck you. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't really say that, but I wanted to. I'm like, what an asshole! Give me my five dollar back, plus tax. And then, yeah, that's me. You know, I want my money back. One time, I tried to. I, w I wanted to return a game. It was NHL 2005. It was 29 cents. It didn't work. I wanted to return it. And then my dad says, like, It's 29 cents. What's wrong with you? And, like, I want my 29 cents back, damn it. Anyways. Oh, yeah. When I bought those two NHL games. I bought two NHL games. And, ah, fuck. NHL games for 29 cents. And they're both used. And I, ha and I was using my ed the discount card. <laughs> The total came to 62 cents. And then I pulled out the discount card. And then. 
and the guy said, oh, you have discount card, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super cheap, I save four cents, it could became 58 cents, oh, save, save all the money, anyways, last card thunder 2004, this is the good one, this is actually my first used game I bought, actually, no, I didn't buy it, my dad just surprised me, probably just found it and then picked it up, Remember back in the day where EB Games, GameStop had all these used PS2 games you could pick out of? You could almost find anything. Now they don't. It's all, you know, all those newer games. So, there's NASCAR 8 for PS3. Uh, through 3, nothing to say there. It sucks. And here it is, NASCAR 2002. I bought this on eBay last year. And look at the box. Look at how huge this box is. I know NR2003 came in the huge box as, as well, but I didn't get the big box. But why would they put a big box like this? And oh, look at this. Got, you can look inside. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Take a look inside here. I'm gonna open it. I think I bought this for about 20 bucks or 15. Shipping included, shipping already included. So if I didn't have to pay shipping, I would would have paid ten bucks. But man. Anyways, right, slide this out. Big cardboard box, and another door. And here, there you have it. Here is the disc, the manual, and everything, and the instruction booklet. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Nothing really to see. Hang on. Put this back in. Alright, time for the good one, NASCAR 2003, yeah, uh, this is the grand champion of all NASCAR games, yeah, very good, this is the best, the best one, you know how much I paid for this, a hundred bucks on eBay, actually it was 94, but don't forget, tax, not tax, I meant shipping, so yeah, this game cost me a fucking fortune, but all worth it. Fuck yeah, NASCAR 03 beaches. So yeah, the best of them all. Here it is, that sweet smell. I think I, I wonder if that if it still has that nice fresh smell. I had this game for about seven years. So yeah, let me. I won't say that that still has that very good smell. The manual still has the has that awesome smell. I don't know. It probably smells better than uh, vaginas. That was weird. Not that I've ever smelled one, but probably smell good. Okay, now I'm getting too horny. I'm gonna go watch some porn now. So that's it. That is it. This is my NASCAR video game collection. And actually, I'm gonna put this in the box. But yeah, got some diecast. Gonna review that later. In about maybe two minutes after I'm done with this. So yeah, there you have it. Those are all my NASCAR games. Including USA, Daytona USA, and Days of Thunder. On PS3. Oh, and iRacing as well. I have iRacing. So yeah, that's it.